Yo, pals, it's me to play the Brenta Bushworks, and I'm playing Pokemon Yellow. Only because I tried to record some new footage for Pokemon Ultra Moon, and I botched up on it. I have to re ed everything, so I decided hey, since I need to make another video today, I guess we'll just go from new back to old. Oh, I'm supposed to find an Abra. This is gonna be a fun episode. Short episode, I should also mention. Uh, what do you want? I'm not good at raising Pokemon. I should release my Charmander because I haven't raised it well. Oh my gosh, I'm getting one of the first starters! One of the first three starters. If you promise me you'll care for it, it's yours! Do I have the room? I do! Do you want to give a nickname to Charmander? Well, there are no shiny variations, but... Date, I choose you! I'm bringing you all the way from the future to the past! Everyone else is going to have to deal with it. But Date is now a part of our party. Take good care of my Charmander. Brinton found TM45. Uh, let's take a look at the Pokemon. Wow, I had only enough space for Date. Who is only a Charmander right now, but... Aw, oh, man. <laughs> There's still color. Um, attack 18, defense 16, speed 18, special 15. So, attack is the best. And unfortunately, special seems to be the worst. Alrighty then. We'll work with that some way or another. But for right now, I'm gonna have to look for... Actually, let me look at my items. I've only got four Pokeballs. And, well, I got a great ball. Okay, I think the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save, just in case something happens. I'm not above soft resetting. If I have to. And I feel like if I encounter an ABBA, um, I'm gonna try to throw a great ball at right away, and if it doesn't work, I'm gonna soft reset so I can get that great ball back. But for right now, training! I can't remember if Oddish has rap. I would think Oddish has rap. So I guess for right now, I'm going to, long bun, I'm going to catch this Oddish. Because why not? Potentially, I might need a Pokemon that has Wrap in order to subdue and keep Abra from moving while causing some damage. Supposedly. I might be wrong about that. I'm not even sure if there is an Abra here. I think there should be. But here's the thing. If I want to do this whole Mew cheat thing, I'm going to need an Abra. Straight up. That's the only way. Unless I go all the- Oh! Bellsprout! I know you have rap! So, let's see if we can get Pilot to... Chip off just enough damage off of you. And then I can catch you. Nope, that was a crit. Dang it, Pilot. <laughs> you weren't supposed to crit. The Bellsprout. What do you think about all this, Pikachu?! Yeah, I'm content to. Supposedly. Now, we can't battle him because he is vital to this whole Mew thing. The first thing I need to do is find an Abba. Now, that may or may not happen in this episode. For right now, you can almost just call this a training montage. Except that it's going normal speed, so I guess that doesn't quite work. We're just going to keep training my Pokemon until we can find an Abra, or at least, K 
catch a bell sprout and start training that to be faster than the Abra would be. I don't know. The last time I tried to do this stunt, it took quite a while for it to get done. But if we won a Mew on our team, or my team, then it has to be done. Because it cannot be done in Pokemon Fire Red. And I doubt it's going to be able to be done in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, let's be honest. Which begs the question, and I guess this is a good time for this community question. How do you think we'll get Mew in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee? How do you think Game Freak will do that? So I'm pretty sure they confirmed there's 151 of the original Pokemon. 150 is Mewtwo. 151, of course, is Mew. So how would we find Mew in the game? Hopefully it's not just a simple um, code that needs to be put in or a download or something like that. I hope there's like an in-game event that happens for you to get Mew in. That's what I hope. Alright, go Pokeball! Catch that bell sprout! Alright, done and done. So, if the great ball doesn't work, we can use bell sprout to use wrap on the Abra. In fact, <laughs> I'm just gonna do something kinda dumb right now. Behold the secret to my plan! Rappa! Or rapper, not rappa. Not with an A, let's just do rapper. <laughs> rapper the Bell Sprout. <laughs> Tell me how terrible that name is. So far, no Abba, though. I guess Abba is more uncommon of an encounter, but. At the same time? I do Oh, right. Gust is in a flying type move. Oops! Well, it's still defeated Bellsprout, so I'll take it. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one of my Pokemon um, in my party in a box for the time being, and it won't be Charmander. Actually, hold on. I was dim enough not to look at Charmander's level. Ooh, Charmander needs some work. Or date, as I've named him. Uh... I guess we'll put Flutter in the box for right now. Just up until I can catch an Abra, I guess. And then I'll have to go back and switch for an Abra, so that doesn't make sense either. So I'll put two Pokemon away. And honestly, I think the two Pokemon that need to go in the box, I should say, are the two Neoren. They could just spend a cute little evening together. You know, nuzzling, snuggling, rubbing each other affectionately in a freaking box! Don't judge me. <laughs> Just don't judge me, you guys. Alright, Niren 1 and Niren 2. That way I can withdraw Rapper, the Bell Sprout, so we can train him. And we'll have room for the Abra that I'll need to use to teleport. Trust me, all this elaborate junk is necessary for Mew, as I said before. Um, I'm gonna have to stop fairly soon, though. Like I said, this is gonna be a short episode. Partly because I spent most of my time recording Pokemon Ultra Moon, only for all that footage to just, um... Well, let's just say that I have to edit the footage together due to a certain mistake on my part and some other bad decisions so at some point you'll get an episode of pokemon ultra moon in your sub boxes this week but not till i edit it 
which I'm mad about. Oh, shoot! Date's out? Uh, was... I don't... I don't remember doing that. Um, and Rapper hasn't healed completely. Um, I think I'm making some mistakes. What do you think? Mmm. Mmm. Now Pilot's gonna be damaged. Only slightly, though. I mean, at least Charmander's gonna get some points. So maybe I'll just do it that way, I guess? I mean, Charmander slash Daint needs to get experience anyways. And these Pokemon battles are gonna be too tough for him. So we'll just keep doing the whole switcheroo thing. At least till we can find an Abba. Or maybe I could use Charmander against the grass type Pokemon. Bellsprout and Oddish. Pilot! No! Don't keep missing. Is there dust in your eyes? I think Pidgey did use sand attack, so that would explain some things. Come on, Violet. Pull through. There we go. I gotta work fast if I'm gonna find this Abba. Pilot grew to level 22, though, so I guess I'll save because of that. And continue. Oh, Abra, where are you? That's not an Abra. But maybe it's good enough of a challenge for Daint? Er, go? Yeah, go, Daint! You're faster than the Bell Sprout. That's perfect, except. Wait, Ember's a special attack, right? Was the attack that I said was stronger than special? I think it was. Ember's a special attack, but at the same time, this is an original Pokemon game. So, does that mean um, Charmander uses basic physical attacks? Old games are confusing. <laughs> Charmander grew to level 11. What should I care? At least Charmander's leveling up. So I'm getting some stuff done. Charmander's gonna be very vital and important in the team. Especially when it comes to battling... What was it? Erica? I think it was Erica, the grass-type gym leader. We can get Date to a good high level. That's gonna really help us out. Alright, good. Date can take it. Nice! Good job, Date! Good job! Alright, Bellsprout's been defeated, and the search continues for maybe about 10 more minutes, and then I actually have to go. I'm starting to think there aren't any Abra here. Am I crazy to think that? I'm gonna have to look it up after I'm done recording this video. I'm starting to think maybe there are no Abra here. They're in the other two games, red and blue. But maybe they're not in yellow. I think they're also in green. I haven't played Pokemon Green in a while yet, have I? Whoops. I even said that I was going to do that as one of my next live streams, but have I done it? No, 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 of course I haven't. But at the same time, let's be honest. And even though I've already said my community question of the video, 
How much Kanto footage do you want me to show you? I'm playing Pokemon Yellow. I'm playing Pokemon Fire Red. I started a Pokemon Green live stream. And obviously, I'm going to be playing Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Do you think that's too many Generation 1 type games? I mean, technically, Pokemon Fire Red is Gen 3. But is this too many games that I'm playing based on Kanto? Should I maybe drop one of the projects? If you can, let me know in the comments. When I was expecting a Pokemon game for the Switch, the first thing I was thinking wasn't a remake or reboot of the original Pokemon games. I'm not mad about that now, but at the same time, that's four Pokemon games just based off the region of Kanto. Yes, it appeases the people that love the original Pokemon, 1 through 50, but there's other Pokemon games for me to play, and I'm not just talking spin-offs, I'm talking about core RPGs from Gen 2, Gen 3, Gen 4, freaking Gen 5 if I can get that shiny tapping at some point. I might be doing a live stream today. <laughs> Point being is, is four games of the same Kanto region too much? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. You might as well also let me know if there's even an Abra here. I'm seriously starting to doubt there are Abras here, which means I'll have to go to plan two. And that, my friends, is going to take even longer to get new, if that is the plan. But the good news is, Charmander is gradually gaining levels. At some point in the near future, he'll be at level 20, alongside some of my other Pokemon. Um... I feel compelled to look out the window because I'm expecting a ride. But I think they can wait for maybe five more minutes, I hope. If the doorbell rings, I'm definitely gonna have to stop. So we'll just keep going till either five more minutes or until the doorbell rings. Whichever comes first, I guess. Like I said, short episode. Wasn't playing on playing Pokemon Yellow today, but... Someday you'll figure out why I had to. Or why I chose to, to be more accurate. I'm seriously thinking there are no Abra. There are absolutely no Abra here. Although I know another good stopping place. If I could get Charmander to be Charmillion. Yeah! But first, we should heal Charmander. There we go. I don't want Date the Fiend on me. So I guess I could just keep playing till I find a Char- Find a nothing. Till I evolve Charmander. That shouldn't take too long. Maybe two more levels? Probably? Oh, but Date's about to run out of Ember. Ooh, that's not good. I mean, he could still fight, he just won't have a move that's super effective against grass types. Even though grass type moves will hardly do any damage against Date anyways. So, uh, pick your poison, I guess? I still don't think they're ever here. Maybe I should try a different patch of grass, where... I mean, still, I think both patches of grass would have an Abra in the regular games. But I haven't seen one, so, uh, oh, that was a crit. Mm, maybe I should switch you out, Dink. This isn't quite your fight this time. Alright, pilot, quick attack! 
nice, nicely done. Nice crit. So I'm gonna go over here and check the grass here, even though I barely think it's gonna make a difference at all. And probably in the next episode, I'll have to face off against these trainers in my attempt to get to Bill's house. Oh my gosh, there are no Pokemon in the grass. There we go. If I was able to run, I'd probably attract them faster. Ah, gosh darn it, it's just another bell sprout. I don't think there are ever here. No, I don't. I'm pretty confident I would have saw one by now if there were ever here. Come on, Dink. Work for it. You can do it. You can be the ultimate Zard. Charizard. You can be the very best like no Zard ever was. Except for maybe Charms. <laughs> and some other Charizards. But you can be my best Charizard. Could name the Blazier after my first Charizard, but... I don't know, maybe we should just share some love for Dink. That is, if Dink can survive this. I didn't miss Bulbasaur, did I? I know I've been skipping over a lot of the NPCs, but... Do you think I skipped Bulbasaur at one point? Because technically, Ash got Bulbasaur before he got Charmander. Oh, no, not rap, not this again. <sighs> Alright, switch out, Dane, switch out. This is not your fight anymore. I guess? No. Let's go with Zoo! Let's go with... Why am I saying? Grass types against electric types? I don't think that works. But, Zoo has Quick Attack, so maybe a Dower work. Maybe I could have gone with Slam. Yeah, one more... Z uh, once I break out of rap, that is. One more Quick Attack should do it. One more. And done. Uh, okay. Almost Ten minutes have almost expired. Dates learned Leer. But he hasn't evolved yet. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna try something maybe a little gutsy. Both in the game and in my uh, real life schedule. I'm gonna battle this one trainer and hope that's enough to evolve Dane. Except that I don't have Dane to find my party. Um. Oops again? <laughs> I'm gonna have to go heal my Pokemon, anyways, aren't I? Oh man. Crit. And besides, wasn't. Flying types? Aren't flying types not effective against flying types? Or was that just in the later games? Um, who exactly am I gonna use? I think I screwed up, you guys. <laughs> Maybe I should go with Rapper. At least Rapper is a grass type and can use grass type attacks. But instead, I'm going with a Butterfree. So, uh. We'll see how well this works. And now I'm gonna do something even dumber! Go Dinked! Good job, Dink! Return! Now I'm going to switch to Rapper. So if Rapper can get a Grass-type attack on Geodude, 
Woo! Look at that! That was good! That worked out great, except no one leveled up at all. So, um, maybe more of so a waste of time. Alright, I gotta end the video off here. Let me know your thoughts about Mew, Pokemon Go, Kanto Vegan, whatever I was just saying. So, until my next videos, and until whatever I do next, this has been Weed to Play. I got nothing left to say, so I hope you enjoy your day. Catch you later.